Welcome to the journey of love and light. Pisces, this is your August love reading. This reading is a general reading for the collective in terms of love, so it may or may not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates, take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Also, if, this, if it does resonate, I would really appreciate it if you would consider uh, liking this reading and subscribing to the channel as it helps the channel grow, and it gives me the reason to keep coming back and doing these readings for free. The uh, decks I'm using today are the uh, Guardian Angel Messages to Row, the Romance Angels, and the Lover's Oracle. I'll pull uh, four cards, clarify, and then add um, some color. Um, to the reading. Also, at the end of this reading, I'll be um, doing um, a, a pull for you from the Angel Answers card. So be thinking about what question you have for your angels, and I will get an answer for you um, at the end of this reading. So let's get started right away. These decks have already been shuffled and um, have already been prayed over. So um, I'm going to shuffle. I always just have the urge to shuffle it once more. Um, before we lay them out on the table. <clears throat> so first card out is the three of earth. The next card out is the 10 of water. That's great for a love reading, my dear Pisces. Um, and next out is the six of earth. And then the next out is the sun. Oh, wow. Great, great energy there. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see the next deck here. Let's uh, layer on the uh, romance angels oops there we go let's get started right away um then interesting looks like you might have uh, um some really interesting things coming up pisces in your love life so let's go ahead and Interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go, Pisces. The first three cards here are the Three of Earth, um, which is says talent, recognition, and collaboration. So what I'm uh, picturing here is actually that, you know, you are probably going to, if you don't already have um, a, someone in your love life and you're coming about, if you're single and you're coming about something new, then this is likely related to um, the fact that uh, it's going to be around friends and, and kind of um, uh, public situations where you might actually run into um, this person so it's telling you that you're not going to need to get out of the house uh, and for those of you that are already in a relationship this could just a uh, signal that maybe you've been working hard and sort of um, not paying attention to that person because they're kind of in the background and, and your your heads down trying to uh, earn a living is what I'm hearing here um, um, the next card out says that let go um, of control issues to allow the situation to unfold naturally. So maybe it is that like whatever it is, this working situation that you're focusing on that's causing this distracting from your love life uh, in some way um, is just asking you to just give it out to the universe and then let it go and know that whatever's going to happen is going to happen for the best. That the universe is always, 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 always putting things in your path for um, uh, for your greatest and highest good, and it's working and it's doing it for you not to you right so sometimes if bad things or seemingly bad things seem to happen is not necessarily um, intended uh, to take you down a you know deep uh, and dark place it's more uh, it's often tended to, to redirect you in some way um, uh, and to you know refocus on you know something else in your life so anyway just just know that um, don't don't Focus so much on work that you're losing sight of your love life if if your love life is important to you. And then just let go of what's going to happen. Just trust that whatever's going to happen is going to happen for your greatest and highest good. It says that, um, that you know, you might be in a twin flame or you might um, be um, uh, uh, feeling like this is a twin flame relationship and that, that you do have a lot of passion for this person. Um, but if it's, if you are, um, calling back in because it's Venus retrograde, if you're calling back in a, um, 
a past lover. It could be that that past lover is a twin flame. Um, and twin flame relationships are not always easy or not always, you know, where you're supposed to be at the, at, at any given time. So just know that too. So, um, let go of the past, you know, and let go of the control issues and just let what's going to happen, happen. Because when you do that, Pisces, um, the next cards out come out and they say that, you know, um, that you're going to, you know, be feeling, you know, that all your, um, uh, emotional needs are fulfilled, you know, that you have this uh, uh, family, love, blessings. And, you know, um, I think the universe is just asking you to really be happy with the things that you have, really be uh, in a place of appreciation for what it is that you do love and continue to, you know, fill your cups up with that love. It says that, you know, you attract um, romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So, yes, yeah, so like um, the attraction that you have between this person and when you guys feel, you know, really the most um, in tune with one another is when you are, uh, you know, living fully in the moment and being in this happy place. So just bring that energy to the forefront and let go of those, you know, issues necessary to control. And here's a message from your spirit. It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims it simply allows and gives again d let go of control issues don't have expectations um you know let the person be who they are and and likewise you should be um expecting that they let you be who you are so make sure that there is this equal give and take because the next cards out even really talk about that the six always talks about equal give and take um and this way it talks about in terms of money but it may be um that it may feel like that the relationship is, you know in the past or something or there are some there may just be a feeling that the relationships out of balance but it's really a um an, an equal give and take kind of relationship if you allow it to be um but i do see that there's this need for charity generosity and there, that there may even be a windfall coming if you um get yourself into the right energetic um uh, space where you can actually attract um the this windfall um you know whether it's a windfall of you know love or whether it's a windfall of money that's actually going to support you and your relationships you know um longer term desires because i do see that there's this desire potentially to uh take the to take the relationship to the next level or to get married if you're not married or um i even feel like for people that are maybe already married if you know if you're still in this reading at this point in time um that it's like renewing your vows after a time of like um maybe trouble in the relationship that you now have because uh, i had a hair in my mouth too like it was like really bothering me i had to get this hair out of my mouth so um uh it, it could be at this time in your relationship it's time to you know let go of the past you know um and you know renew your vows in some way because it says uh look inside yourself it says examine what is causing you to feel this way so if you've um if it's like really that now you have this really good feeling that, um, you know, now things can go, move forward and you feel like you want to renew this uh, uh, relationship, just make sure that you're renewing it for the right reasons and, and understanding why you're renewing it so that you don't let it slip away again if it was almost slipping away in the past. Um, because I do see at the end of August, Pisces, um, you have the sun and the sun talks about, you know, complete and utter happiness. So, um, and I see that it's, you know, it also talks about kind of how, um, you know, your, your, uh, garden is growing, you know, and, you know, you're just feeling completely empowered in a situation. And, um, so I feel like that maybe you're, this is why, you know, you're, um, you know, wanting to, um, you know, make sure that this relationship is right so that you can find this happiness. But I still feel like this card coming out that says finances and career, it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So again, I think it's like maybe that's why you're focusing so much on, you know, um, something else as you, or, you know, this work that you're coming in. You know, it looks like even, you know, you know some kind of uh, creative endeavor that you're working on right now that's causing you to, you know, really, uh, you know, focus uh, on something other than this relationship, but that if you do focus on it, you get things back in balance, you know, you can make it to, you know, to bring it back if that's what you really want. Um, but the son says that, <clears throat> um, you know, there's, there's financial issues that are, you know, going, they're currently creating an imbalance in the situation. And it just says, 
that there to take your time. It says time. It says you're trying too hard. Give it time. So if there's like if you're trying to force this issue or force this, you know, force things along or force this, you know, um, next level love, you know, spirit's just saying to just take a deep breath and allow it to happen. Allow life to bring you the very best that it has to bring you the sun card all right my dear pisces i am going to be pulling your angel answers card now again if this reading resonated with you or you want to come back to the channel be sure and subscribe to the channel or um just at least like the reading or if you have any comments don't forget to comment below um i have your reading your your answer from your angels so um i don't know what your question was but here is your answer improving health so whether it's your health or whether it's somebody that you're talking you know worried about somebody that you have on your mind you know things are lining up things are getting in balance and all the chakras are becoming in line i feel like it's you pisces though i feel like that you're improving your health that you're filling your cup up and it's causing you to get all of your chakras back in alignment and you're getting you know right in your um you know mindset so that's beautiful and that's going to help you along your love path as well pisces so um i'm wishing you nothing but peace and blessings on your journey of love and light